Hi, I'm Tobin Booth with Blue Oak Energy. This is the inaugural Tech Talk Tuesday. Thanks for joining us today. This is a typical IV curve for a solar module. Current is on the y-axis, voltage is on the x-axis. This curve is typical for a normal crystalline solar module. Um, a thin film module has a similar curve. It might have a little softer knee. This is the knee of the curve. On the y-axis, we've named a couple of variables. Same thing on the x-axis. This is ISC, the maximum theoretical current that a solar module can produce. If you plug the ends of the solar module together, the amount of current that you get circulating is ISC, the short circuit current of the module. You shorted the module out, that's the maximum current that can they could possibly pass through that module. IMP is the maximum current at maximum power. VOC is open circuit voltage. If you open circuit the ends of the lead of the solar module and you place a meter there and measure the open circuit voltage, that's the open circuit voltage. That's the voltage that, um, that you measure at open circuit with no load pulling down the voltage on that solar module. And VMP is the voltage at maximum power. Now this current varies with the voltage throughout the day. We start at, at uh, lower radiance through the day and as radiance builds this curve gets taller. It doesn't necessarily change the open circuit voltage as the irradiance changes. The open circuit voltage is relatively constant throughout the day no matter what the irradiance is. But the current changes significantly. The current builds and is constantly moving up through the day and down through the afternoon and as clouds come by it goes up and down and this curve is constantly changing and constantly in motion. It's a very dynamic part of a solar electric system and the goal of a, an inverter and a solar electric system designer is to harvest this curve all day long and, and build and design an efficient PV system that can harvest this Harvest this curve. Protect, preserve, and harvest the IV curve at all times. That's our goal. Um, so the last thing I'd like to point out on a typical IV curve of the solar module is the area under the curve. The maximum area under the curve is achieved at IMP and VMP. And here, IMP and VMP are located on the knee of the curve. And this area under the curve, under IMP and VMP, that's called uh, power at max power. PMP is the term we use for, for uh, power at max power. These are the basics of an IV curve for a solar module, or a string of solar modules, or an entire solar array. The basics are all the same, um, and this is the absolute fundamental um, uh, curve that we try to protect, preserve, and harvest for a solar array and a solar electric system. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.